Okay, uh, welcome to the Monday Cyprus Chess Talk uh, <coughs> episode 2 with uh, Panagiotis Dionisio. Welcome Panagiotis. Good, good evening Mark. Uh, we're going we're gonna to see today, f first of all you will uh, introduce your chess club. Uh, are we on chess club? Then we will look at two games from uh, Nafsika Vundu who is currently playing in the World uh, Youth uh, Chess Championship Under 12 online. And then yep. we will speak about uh, sponsoring chess in Cyprus. So, yep. uh, introduce your club to uh, so for our viewers when I do this. Okay, so obviously whoever is um, uh, is involved in in chess in Cyprus knows that I'm a president of Arion Chess Club which uh, was um, established in 2016 <coughs> and right now we uh, we have an academy of uh, around 50 children it used to be more uh, two years ago but right now it's around 50 and due to the crisis right now yeah we do actually right now we because of the pandemic, we do online, online um, uh, uh, teaching, online courses, and we play online, and uh, we uh, cooperate with others. For example, you, <laughs> Mark, yeah. to do the um, the Sunday uh, tournaments. We do every Sunday. We have a we have a tournament which is available for all all children in Cyprus of ages from, from five year old to uh, let's say 18 year olds. And um, uh, we're, we're quite active. Um, yeah, Nafsiga is one of the, one of the children there. She, she started, I think it was maybe one, one uh, year ago. Oh, She's doing good. very well. She's doing very well. She's, I think, 11 years old uh, this year. And I guess we will have a look at two, two of your games. One, this game, the first one is from uh, the tournament this sun last Sunday. And uh, I think the other one is, is from the, um, the World uh, Championship, which is happening uh, today. In, tomorrow and uh, on on Wednesday yeah so so let's start the game uh, we have the scotch four knights so e4 e5 knight e4 e5 uh, the, this game she plays against Alexis Afsiga is with black pieces ah okay we see knight f6 so this is actually the pet to Either Petrov, Petrov, Petrov defense, yes. Here the knight, white knight can take on e5. Yeah. But uh, Alexis plays bishop d3 to to protect his pawn in on e4, which is not the best move, of course. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, the bishop here should. This is also like bishop c4 is a possibility, but it doesn't protect the pawn though. Yeah, bishop c4 would be uh, maybe knight c3 beforehand, or uh, yeah, depending on what you want, what you what you want to play. Actually, here you can just take the pawn. Yeah, the knight takes c5 is the main line. Knight, knight takes c5 is the main line. D6, and then c6. Yes. Take d4. This is very. This is full of theory, though. Yeah, yeah. This is full of theory. Yeah, it's very theoretical. So mm -hmm. let's go back. We saw bishop d3. Alexis doesn't take the pawn. He, he plays bishop d3, which is okay. Of course, it's not the best move, but you see a lot of uh, these kind of mistakes in uh, children's games. Uh. Knight, 
knight c6. I've seen a place knight c6. I think that's so. Yeah. Yep. My mouse just slipped. Okay, so knight c3 was played. Knight c6 was played. Yeah. Yeah, normal, normal, normal developing move. And now we see. Okay, here uh, bishop c5 might have been slightly better than d6. So that the bishop yeah. is outside of the pawn chain rather than inside the pawn chain. Bishop c5. Yes, it could be bishop c5, but what, what did she play? d6. Yes, d6. Closing her bishop in. It's a bit more passive. It's not, it's not, it's not a big Make mistake. It yeah, is it making a way for for her uh, white squared bishop to pin the pin the knight on on, on, uh, on yeah. And now white plays bishop c4. Yeah, so now <laughs> Alexis is moving moving the same piece twice. Yes. Uh, trying to n n now that he's protecting the pawn on e4, he wants to um, activate <laughs> his bishop. Put put it. Put the bishop on a better square. Yes, he should have. He should have played knight c3 and then bishop c4 yeah. straight away. But it's already like a step forward to understand that here I've made a mistake with the bishop, and yeah. I'm going to play it again. So this is a very. This is also a very good thing uh, of Alexis. He understands he made a mistake, and now he's. Yeah, of course. Of course. The, yeah, of course. It, this is an online game. Uh, uh, we we cannot know what what really happened. Maybe he had a mouse slip or whatever. But yeah. um, and now he goes. Yeah. To so, so ah, okay. But here, uh, knight g five doesn't do much because black can just castle. And we know that we prefer having two pieces rather than the rook and the pawn. Even yeah. though then the, that the value is equal, the pieces are more valuable in the middle game than having yeah. a rook. So this capture on f7 is not very good. Yeah, but Alex it goes ahead and and, and uh, exchanges uh, pieces. This is this is a mistake I see also in many young players do. They go to take this rook and pawn, but uh, two pieces is better than. A rook and a pawn. So. Yeah. Uh, here, black, black, black is, uh, is black is better. And here, I'm not sure this pawn is hanging. I don't see any tactics. No, queen f3, knight f6. No. This is just hanging. But what if? Let's say, what if? Um... Queen h5, king g8. It looks dangerous. It looks dangerous. So I would, uh, I understand that Black wouldn't take this pawn. No. Yeah. Yeah, I, I understand this. It's it's a pawn, but it it looks dangerous. It looks dangerous. So Knight takes d5. This yeah, is not because really because Here, Black 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 is is already in front. Yeah. So. Now Siga doesn't want to get into trouble into uh, lines. But uh, might might be dangerous, so she just ex exchanges pieces. Yeah, I think bishop e6 though did, did, is did, correct. Uh, yeah. So she ex did she exchange knights here or yeah, um... knight takes e takes okay. and then knight d4. Yeah. A very nice okay. move. Okay, knight d4 is uh, yeah. He it's takes, a nice uh, move. F3 away from the queen, so queen f3 is not playable. Queen h5 is king g8. Uh, c3 knight f5 so yeah she, it's a nice move castle and now she goes back with king g8 a very a very nice move yeah uh, i like this move king g8 K taking the king away from trouble mm -hmm. they seem to make some small mistakes but they seem to also have very nice understanding of when the piece is misplaced so that they move them away Which yeah i think so far okay to it's okay. It's a decent game. Knight is five. Yeah. D4. The knight is kicked. And then d4. C takes. C takes. And now we okay, see these pawns. Yeah, maybe d4 wasn't the maybe wasn't the best move, of course. Uh, but 
Okay. You exchange points and you have double pawns. Yeah. Uh, bishop f6 came out, attacking the pawns. Yeah, but he's double here, attack on the on the pawn. He bl uh, he blunders a bit. He should have played bishop e3, protecting. Even though he's giving the n bishop away, uh, it would be better because of the potential pushing. I think. I p I don't know. I prefer bishop e3 rather than bishop d2. Yeah. Yeah, of course. This is this is a this is this is a mistake from Alexis. Because now, after this, Bishop C three was played. Uh, Bishop C three should have been played, yes, and which wasn't played. Uh, he played Bishop E three, and then Knight just goes to F five. So the difference is, if you play Bishop C three, and the Knight goes to F five. Uh, you can play maybe something like queen f3. I don't know. This this is something I would have maybe played. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, bishop e3 was played. Knight f5. And then he goes back to bishop c1. Yeah, because because uh, the pawn on b2 is... Uh, He's not protected, and he wants to protect the. Instead of moving the rook, he's decided to move the bishop back. Of course, okay. Yeah, there was here also this possibility of queen c2. Yeah. Protecting the pawn, and if it takes... yeah, yeah, but also, also you don't want to. Maybe you don't want to leave the. You don't want to leave the the rook on a1. Yeah. Since he, they have a strong bishop on. On f6, you want to maybe move the rook away. Also, these pawns seem a bit slightly weak. Yeah. But I, but I prefer, I don't know, I prefer this situation rather than what was played. Okay. Bishop c1 was played, and then we faced c6. Yeah. Um, actually, this is, this is an, uh, I don't know, I like this move. Well, here, I think White should have just waited yeah. for Black to respond. Yeah. Something like Rook B1. Yes. Because if you play takes, you have an isolated pawn. If you play C5, you have a backwards pawn. And just and you can't really move the if you move the bishop. I just wait for you to take. Also, you can maybe play Rook E1 here. Yeah, Rook E1 is another possible. Over just taking mm -hmm. the open file. Yeah. Okay, D takes C six was played, B takes C six, and then we have Queen F three. Yeah, and now and now now. Uh, okay, of course. Um, this is tempting, but it simply loses a piece. Bishop B seven, Queen B three. Uh, queen takes F five. What am I talking about? I I was looking at Queen B three check. Uh, like like this. Yeah, and to, to take the bishop, yes. Yes, but there there's a knight falling, so this is not playable. Yeah, so bishop b7 is not playable due to queen takes f5. So yeah, d5. Pretty nice move, closing the diagonal for the queen. Yeah, of course the knight is protected. Yeah. Yes. So bishop e3. The bishop has to come out. Yeah. Can move and now we see two dangerous bishops against the rook. Yeah, it's an open game, so you against the yeah. Okay, here you're winning a pawn, but oh, black didn't see it. So bishop g5 here. We then see queen c5 attacking the pawns. Queen d6. This would be a nice move if uh, Black didn't have this. Yeah. Okay, Black played Bishop e8. Okay, here I think why Black is happy to exchange queens. Yes. Due this to is this what pass pawn. Yeah, this is what she's trying to do. Just exchange a queens. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is a. Even though the engine says this is a good move, I personally will not exchange queens here. You can I give a check if you want. Yeah, then I would go here, check King H8, 
rook. Uh, I'm debating which rook to bring to e1. I think this rook should come because of f4 ideas. I think uh, White should keep the queen on the board because of his uh, uh, yeah of his also inferior you position. Also, you can put pressure on c6 maybe. Yeah, and checkmate ideas. Back rank mate. Uh, yeah. Okay, queen takes d8. Rook takes d8. Yeah, here they exchange queens. Rook f1. And of course, Black has a pass has a has passed pawns. And we see bishop d2. Yeah, and Afsiga starts um, harassing the, the rooks. Yes. This is why we shouldn't exchange <laughs> two pieces for that rook. Yeah. And then we go bishop a5. Okay, bishop yeah. b5 is better, but okay, bishop a5. Yeah, okay, fine. but you place the other way. Yeah. Uh, actually, not a bad idea because maybe you can go uh, move the rook to move the bishop to b6, and then yes, this is yeah, a3. Uh, that, that's one idea. And now bishop h5. The next bishop is coming. Yeah, she, so she, she starts uh, harassing the rooks. Bishop b6, and the king should have come towards the center since we are in approaching end game. If we're not already. yes. So you want the king towards the middle of the board, but he went to the edge. And now the pass pawn must be pushed. That's where it comes in, d4. No. Yeah. g4. This should be 6. Yeah, g4 gives, uh, gives some space for the king. And, yes. and also attacks the okay. uh, bishop. It's. I don't think the black... White could improve much on his play here because it's just a matter of time when this pawn will come down and then just queen. Yeah. Because as you see, the bishop, the, the two bishops are going to protect all of these squares, and the rooks cannot do anything. Yeah. It should be two rook e one take. Yeah. Rooks. Now she can just take a pawn. And now we have this very nice and check another check. pawn. And the free rook in the process. Ah, uh, you just ah, uh, okay. <laughs> you just take, all right. Yes. And D2. then, yeah. And it's nothing because this is just checkmate. There's no way to prevent it. Yeah, there's no way to prevent. This is, uh, uh, even if this was played, this is just. No, no. The bishop would just, just take, take it and then go back. Yeah. So here Alexis tries to. Um, okay, he blundered here. Uh, he thought I, that probably this would this wasn't made, but it is made. No, it's made. This is made in two, so it just takes and yeah, and, and Nasiga finishes the game nicely. Yeah, it was a nice game. Yeah, nice game. I mean, I think the game uh, was decided when Alexis um, took on f7. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, yeah. When he decided to uh, exchange his two pieces with um, with the rook, because I can't see how to improve afterwards. It's just difficult to find improvement afterwards. So here, White should have just go castle, and uh, I think White is slightly better here. Yeah, I came very, very uh, slightly, Sl very slightly due to his better position of the pieces. Yeah, okay. Here, game is uh, the game is equal, but very it's equal. Yeah, yeah. It's it's these small details that count. Of course, if you go ahead and play d three, then uh, the the Black's white squared bishop uh, will will pin the knight, and um, you will have a um, some difficulty getting getting that bishop of the of the knight, because then the other knight is coming on d4. Yes. Yeah, so, for example, here I think if you play bishop g4 now, yeah, uh, white you can, can just play d3. Can just. Uh, 
a simple yeah, move would be h3 it, as well, but I would play d3 to be honest. d3, and if you do this, um, I'm not sure I need to be worried yet. This is not, this is, this looks scary, but there is nothing to it, in my opinion. Yeah, uh, okay. White will just go f4. Uh, f4 could be an idea, or even or even just play d4, d4, bishop, f1, and the problem is solved. Yeah, I what think it's better to play d4 rather than f4 because because the, the pawn on f3 controls the knight. Yes. But this looks slightly dangerous, so here white would play, would be, if he doesn't want to go into this h3, just to stop the bishop coming to g4. So after castle, white just castles, and this bishop cannot go here. So bishop e6, and then bishop b takes e6. Yes, this is correct. Although I I would have played bishop b3 even if it's not as good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's it's this. I, c I think this is a five five minute five minute game. Um. Oh, okay. I can't. I can only see that they they thought maximum. Yeah. One so, one minute. F uh, one no, minute. not bad from Nafsiga. I mean, no major blunders. Yeah. Uh, okay. A uh, bit Alexis passive in the beginning, but okay. Yeah, Alexis' game wasn't very. He, he, he had a in. few. A bit too. Had early. a few mistakes. Okay, so this is. So okay, so let's let's move on to uh, today's game of for for the the World Youth Rugby uh, Championship. Nafsiga was playing uh, white here, and actually it was a game that um, I was watching live. Zofia Lasniewska is from Poland. Her opponent, yes. I'm not sure. Yes, uh, it, sounds, I, it looks Polish. Look, then. Yeah, sounds Polish. So, Navsiga goes d4, d5. Yeah, d4, d5, and then, so and then you're seeing it, unusual it, lines. Uh, yeah, it's more of a waiting, but it gives space for the bishop. Ah, uh, Navsika is going for this uh, triangle uh, formation, yes? Yeah. Uh, okay. E6, knight d2. Yeah, knight d2 is being played so that um, so that the, the black knight cannot um, cannot block the bishop on, on e4. Ah, oh, yes. So, okay. so Navsika here is has a plan um, for example she's trying to provoke the opponent to play c5 which means that uh, black will castle on on the, on the right hand side a, a, a short castle okay and that's that's exactly what she wants she's she wants to try and um, Lure the opponent to uh, to castle on on on, uh, to, on the short side and then uh, the king side and then um, try and uh, block the uh, the black diagonal from uh, from b two to e five. If you make a line from b two, let's ah. say to e five. Yeah, she's going to try and block that line uh, so that all the pieces uh, on the left-hand side of uh, for black cannot defend the king. And then she's going to try and attack the king on the on the king side. Oh, with like g4, g5, yes. Yeah, uh, that's one idea, but it wasn't played in the game. Actually, it was playable. Uh, but let's let's move on. So the idea here is to, uh, yes, of course, to to play c3, but also 
uh, the way to 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 bring a pawn on e5 is to play f4 here. Ah, uh, f4 and then knight e5, yes. Yes, and then knight 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 f3 and then knight e5. If I'm not if I'm not mistaken, I think this is called the Pillsbury attack idea. Yeah, that's there. That's called the weight weights attack or pit yes, attack. I, I remember it because on last la, two days ago on Saturday, uh, I saw a, a session on the Pillsbury attack. <laughs> ah, yeah. D four F four knight F three ninety five. So the the idea here is to block the uh, the to uh, block the uh, black pieces early on on the. The left hand side, and um, here you you wait for a c5 move because black would would want to kick. Uh, if if you wouldn't play c3, then black would want to kick off kick the kick the the bishop on d3. Okay. So they play c5 and then c6. Sorry, c5 and then c4. Ah, uh, c5, c4, and then the bishop has nowhere to go. But with c3, yeah, but you that, yeah, but with c3, one. you you make wait for c2 for the bishop to end up in c2. Oh, okay. Not bishop b1, queen c2. No, because then the what if they play um, c5? Then ah, uh, take on d. Your your, your, qu and, your yeah. queen is fine. It's fine on d1 because uh, queen can go h5. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. After you kick the knight on on f6, then you have a queen on h5, and you threaten mate, of course, okay. or you you threaten different. So here, black castles, and that's the idea. And then knight, knight f3, f3 c5. and c5. Okay, it's coming, but it's not a problem. Here, if and here we go with knight e5. Knight e5, yeah. This this is now should be coming. This is next. G four, G five. Yes. Yeah. Here you, you you can castle, of course. But if you have a look at uh, Black's pieces, they can do nothing. For example, let's say Bishop on uh, on D six. Nothing. It's out of I the mean, game. Yes. It's, it's out of the game. Of the the, also, the knight on uh, D seven. The queen. Uh, is not there, and you have an open. Uh, it's everything open for the for the attack on the king. Yes. So actually, the the idea, uh, yeah. Here, if they play, play if they play. Um, also, white has con full control on the center. So when you attack on the on the where's on the flank. Black cannot hit the center since the center is locked down. Yeah, of course. One very important square here is e4, and um, black cannot play e4 because of the knight on d2. Yes, that's a nice move. Yeah. So c4. So c4, and and bishop on c2. c2. Yeah. And black plays bishop e7, which is not. Uh, it's not, I mean, whatever they play here is. I mean, the knight cannot go anywhere. I would go g4, but this is not. Yeah. Okay. Of course, Nafsiga doesn't do this. She castles, I think, or I'm not sure. What okay, she castle did is also a good move. It's not a bad move. Yeah, I, I think it's. There's yeah. also this f5, which looks promising as well. Yes, f5 is is a nice move. But the idea here, what you want to do is kick the knight away. Yeah. Somehow, I mean, you you need to... Of course, you, you can create lots of threats here. Rook f1 to f3 to h3 is yeah. one idea. Uh, g4, if you, g5 even. even g4, g4, g5, g5 is another one. Yeah. If, if you can kick the knight away, then... You just uh, you can sacrifice your bishop, get the king out, and then uh, rook on h3 would check, and then queen can get on h5 and threaten mate. I mean, uh, and if you have a look at uh, black's pieces, the rook, the bishop, 
the rook on a8, the bishop on c8, the queen on, on d8. They're doing nothing on this in this game. What was played here? Oh. Mark? Yeah, sorry. Uh, I was like reading a comment. All right. What did they say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to read it, but uh, it seems to have gone back. Okay. All right. Sorry. Okay. So, castle. Yeah, I got and I got then? distracted with the comment, and now I am I don't remember. Knight B six. Okay, Knight B six. Okay. This looks like a bad idea, though. Let me try to find another way. Yeah, to because uh, the knight the knight there is very strong. I mean, I know uh, that we need to break in the center, so something like this would be knight takes e five. Even though this looks wrong, then you take with the f pawn. You take, you take with, with the f pawn. And now I would go knight d7 with the idea of ah, f5. But, but okay, but then if you go knight b7, then I, I this, would no, no. Yeah, okay. but wait a second. If you go, yes, that's the maybe, maybe it that. Work yet. Yes, it doesn't work yet because if you, even if you take and pass on, they they take back with the knight and they have a knight on f6. Of course, the rook is open now and. Ah, so you said if f5 you take with un passant, but I'll take knight takes f6. Yeah, if, even if you take with n passant, because if if they play f5, then then your bishop is is misplaced. So even if you take with n passant, then then yeah, uh, here I think white should break. Yes, this is a move e4. Yeah, e4 e4 is, uh, is this a is very why nice this move. idea doesn't work because of e4. No, exactly. So this is not working. But here, um, what 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 happened in the game? Yeah, I'm just trying to. I know knight b6 is played, but I'm trying to find a solution for black. Maybe even this, but this is also not good. I can't. No, this I'd, ah, maybe b5. Yes, maybe b5. Like hoping the attack on this side is quicker. But than whatever. Yours. Actually, if you play b5. The the knight the knight can attack the king the queen and the bishop, but still it's not a big deal. I know, I know. I was just saying that this might. But if, even if you can, if, even if you scare you like scare white a bit. No, there's no problem actually. I know, I because know. I, I'm just saying. If you come to b4, then we white will not take. We'll wait, and if you take on c3, we. Take back. Yeah. If you take, if you move to b3, then just take with a pawn. Or uh, there's there's too many moves required for black to get. Yeah, uh, this position looks close to winning. For white. For white, yes. Because I can't come so, up with an idea of how to play. Yeah. So Nafsiga had this. Uh, knight b6. And knight, she goes. Knight h3. b6. So already. Yeah. Here, here she plays. Uh, uh, pawn pawn to h3. I think maybe to prepare g4, but it's not needed. You can play g4 or or yes. or okay. even rook f3 to h3. Or I think the yeah, very nice opening for the first game. What about but, e4 and then f5? I know this breaks your structure. You know, you don't but you don't need to. You don't need to. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, you you can play you can play d4, but actually it's too much of uh, too many threats. Yes. Uh, anyway, I mean, okay, so she plays h3, bishop d6, bishop comes back, and I think I think uh, yeah, no, uh, this is Sofia uh, took a lot of time as well to yeah and. Here, Nafsiga plays b3. I mean, she could continue with g4. Yes, but her attack looks quite strong here as well. Okay. C takes, and then after queen c7, uh, she didn't play. Uh, this this is not playable now. This is, looks very powerful. You don't need. To, you don't need. Yes. Okay, but you don't need. To, you don't need to move on the queen side. 
I mean, the attack is on the king, and uh, yes. it's obvious. I mean, if you go g4, it's... Yeah, here, okay, the, she could have gone b g4, yes. This is a very nice move as well. But even, uh, even afterwards, but now knight d7. So there's a slight change now because... Yeah, the queen is uh, blocked. The queen is n unblocked, yeah. So here... This is a very nice move, and after queen c7, I think c4 would have been a very terrible blow because c5 is coming. c5 is coming and forking two pieces. Yeah. Okay. That's a nice idea. Bishop b2 was played. Bishop d7. Queen e1. Okay, this is definitely yeah. this idea. Uh, yeah, and Afsigai is... is uh, yeah, that's the, the idea is for... Uh, the qu the queen to get on a uh, to be on h5 because she sees that she cannot use the queen uh, on on either the g file on the or the h file so she moves she moves the queen to e1 to bring the queen on uh, on h5 and actually this this what happens in the game yeah so we see bishop c6 queen h4 okay I would have personally played g4 first. And then yeah. Queen H4, with the idea is if he plays Bishop E7, if she plays Bishop E7, I go G5. Because the way it was played, yeah, 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 Queen yeah. H4, now Bishop G, E7. G, and G, G5 actually... Uh, it's too late. Yeah, it's too late. And he, he loses a piece, actually. Yes. Uh, it loses, loses the knight. <laughs> it's fine. Because <laughs> if, if, if this is played, the Queen just... Queen, yeah, that's may, may. There's yeah. something here. There's something here which I'm missing again. Tactics. Ah, yeah. There's something we're missing. Here? No, because the uh, computer doesn't like knight e4. Let me see. Maybe g5. Yes, g5. Very nice, powerful move because if the knight cannot move due to it, checkmate on yeah. h7. The, the knight cannot take the cannot take take the knight on d2. Cannot move because that's a mate. Yeah. And then, uh, okay. Yes. This okay. Uh, yeah, but I still don't like this. There's too like, there's too many there's too many threats here. Too yeah, many this threats. is unnerving. Okay. So what? what Ah, this is would have been a much better choice. Bishop a3 removing the bishop. Actually, she she plays it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know why she plays. Uh, but and then she goes back. Okay. Then she goes back. And now here. Okay. It I looks think like I th they were happy with the draw. Uh, if she played bishop c1, it would have been a draw. Yeah, uh, I think uh, what happened here is that. Uh, uh, Zofia didn't yeah. have much time. She was under 10 seconds and Nasiga had around two, two and a half minutes. So she was trying to win on time. To win on time. This is one of the most cruel things. As soon as you try to win on time, you actually lose the game. <laughs> it's quite yeah. cool. Okay, now <laughs> seven was played, and now here knight f three I think would have been nice. In case it yeah. takes, you can knight f three knight g. Yeah, but another move was played, which was yeah. Of course, of course, uh, the opponent doesn't want to take the knight on on e five, so it goes back <clears throat> because because uh, if they do, then they lose a piece. Also, it looks like Black is quite happy to draw this game. Yeah, of so course, happy, <laughs> too yes. many threats. And then Nasiga makes a very good, very nice move. She plays Indeed. f5. This is completely blunder. Yeah, f5 is an excellent move. And now we have the th nice sacrifice for checkmate, and which she doesn't see. Yes. <laughs> yes, and here, here is the is the first. Uh, first checkmate in two. Of course, here you can play. Let's say uh, I don't think h six. Uh, the idea is if you take it's checkmate. Yeah, in uh, 
queen, queen. If I'm not mistaken, ah, this is not the solution. Tila, mm -hmm. uh, no, no, no. do I check? Check. There's something better here. Let me find it. Knight g6. Uh, I have to work on my tactics again. I'm very. No, you can do this. actually. He, yeah, do a check here and then take on G. Yes, and okay, then this wins, but there's a quicker way, and I really, I really want. Okay, to, okay, but I really want to know what it is. Maybe this. Ah, oh, okay. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to embarrass myself. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it, this this just wins because of queen takes h7, queen h8 wins the game. Actually, queen h7 is checkmate. Yes, here. if if if, you, if, it if they take any other way other than the rook. Yeah, any other way rook, other than the rook, the it's rook. due to the quick s situation we just showed here. Okay, it was actually queen h8. It just took time for the engine to accept it as a solution. And this wins the rook. Yeah. So my tactics is not too bad. So does he, does it win does it win the rook though? Because it's protected by the queen. Uh let me see. Yeah, it does win the rook because knight uh f knight f seven. Knight f seven check. Yeah. Queen H eight. Yeah. The, here check yes and then, and then queen here take and, and then where does the king go there and then knight knight f7 check yes no and there's then you mate there's mate we have mate here all right okay Cap, we have stuff here it's like mate this is this is mating position here ah yes there's a knight mate on c4 but must be played with the other knight it doesn't matter <laughs> Okay, here she missed it and played rook a1. Yeah, she missed it. She wants to bring the other rook as well. But the, if you want to bring the other rook, then you need to play, let's say, rook f3 or rook yes. f2, and then bring the rook to uh, the other rook to on on f1. Uh, and okay, queen e7 was ah. Uh, this is this gives the option again. Most probably, this rook takes f6 is like the whole time. Oh, this move. What is? It? Ah, there is this. This is this is playable. Yeah, because you take the queen. Yes. If you if if they take the knight, then and you take you the queen. This. Ah, you can't go there. You can't. The knight. You can't. And this I is. I think there's a checkmate with this moving the bishop, but there is. Ah, uh, no, no. What am I talking about? Knight checks. Knight mate. Yeah. This is what we're missing. Very nice. Very nice mates. Yep, which she missed and goes rook. She two. missed again, and then two rooks, and they play. <laughs> they they move the other knight away, which this is not here. playable now. Yeah. Wait a second. Go back. Go back. Here it looks. I think bishop takes h7 might. Wait a second. Now, now you cannot take with the. You cannot take with a no, rook because of this. Uh, sorry, not like this. You need to take with the pawn. And now the queen is protecting this. Yeah. So here, white. Still, still, still. I mean, uh, the, take take with the rook. Let's take. I think this Have is winning. This is uh, there's nothing. Yeah, okay, but just to have a look. I know, yeah. Uh, if rook f3, black could go maybe f5. No, what am I talking about? This queen. King h8. Even I'm blundering into mate the whole time. You know, I, I mean, it's still dangerous with... Uh, if, if king... Ah, okay. Go back. If king if king h8, then uh, knight, knight g6. Knight g6, yes. That's what I'm not <laughs> seeing. Nah, nah, it's, with, it's very with tactical, the, the position here. Yeah, yeah, but that's that's the actually that's the idea. I mean, that's yeah, the idea. Yeah, it's not clear cut. Even though it's not a good, apparently not a good move, it would most probably win the game at that at that pace with that amount of time on the clock. So yeah, she bl blundered this. Yeah, she just uh, gives away the strong knight on e five, which is something okay. 
And here she, how did she lose this game? Just from time. I mean, at uh, ah, this point, okay. she didn't have much time. The other person, I think they had three seconds on time. Uh, ah, so la lucky and the... Uh, yeah. Here, knight f3 is a nice move, and then knight g5. Yeah. Yeah, or even again, knight, knight on e5. Yes. Very, st very strong knight. Very nice square for the knight. Shea, and I think she that, was that's very close. She was very close yeah, to taking the game. Very close. Very close. Very, very nice position. Many options on um, in the middle game, uh, tactical middle game. Uh, yeah. Uh, kids, kids um, are afraid to sacrifice to to sacrifice pieces or even exchange rooks with uh, knights. Sometimes, yeah, they, they. I think they, uh, they don't, they don't tend to sacrifice the, when they're when they're this level because they are fixated on the, on the value of the piece. Yeah, because we when we teach them chess at the beginning, we ingrain the, the value, like the pawn is one, the knight is three, the bishop is three, the rook is five, the queen is nine. And they, it takes time for them to unlearn the values, that the values are flexible and not arithmetic. It's just that the, the what is it called, the movement from them becoming a materialistic player to a uh, time, player who plays on time and position, it takes quite long. It's quite a long transition for the, for the young players. Yeah. Uh, I think it's time. It's a matter of time before they fully are aware of the fluidity of the value. She missed a very good chance of winning on yeah. the first on her first game in an official uh, t uh, tournament. That's her first, actually. <laughs> she didn't play another federated tournament before. Uh, or maybe she played on that European tournament, uh, the online one. I think, yeah, that, that was the only one that she played. Which one? The 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 European um, Yelf, uh, the I online don't know, no, She didn't play. She didn't play. Ah, she didn't. Okay. No, no, she didn't play. All right. No, she didn't. She, play. But but was it the 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 Cyprus Yelf then? How did she qualify in this? Ah, yeah, she played in the... Ah, she... Cyber, yeah, yeah. yeah, so <laughs> it's just one online tournament. Uh, yeah. And, and th these games, uh, they're 10-minute uh, games with uh, three-second increase or... Uh, yes, I think 10 plus Something three, like that. Ten, or 10 plus 2, either 10 plus 2 or 10 plus 3. Yeah, it's quite yeah. quick. It's quite quick, rapid. Quite quick game. Very nice opening for this type of games. This one because it gives the opponent uh, uh, many many threats to think about, and they're wasting time. Also, their pieces get very easily misplaced. The white has a clear idea. Uh, yeah, sacrificing. Material in the process. Yeah, it's very, it's a very nice setup. It's a very nice setup. Yeah, and I, th I think she did very well to set up everything for the middle game. It's just that she missed um, the execution. She missed, yeah, she missed the sacrifice, the, the exchange, or the sacrifice, whatever you want to call it, and yeah. uh, uh, that that would would give her the the game. Of course, it's she. She's not very experienced as well, but uh, uh, we're working towards that. Yeah, that's a very close. <clears throat> so before we close, I was going to ask you if you can tell us some things about sponsorship and chess. Why should why should someone sponsor chess in Cyprus? Like, I know that yeah. you, your club recently uh, gained a new sponsor. Yeah, uh, uh, actually we have a yes. We we um, since two thousand and seventeen we're working with sponsors. Um, it's good for 
for them as well for uh, different companies to uh, advertise their their services and their products through chess and we give them this opportunity so um, why, why sponsor chess and let's say not uh, go with the more popular sports in cyprus because i think it's uh, uh most of these sponsorships uh, come through um the company social responsibility csr which means that um they need to have some kind of purpose they need to they need to address some need of the society some uh, uh ethical um ethical um uh, reasoning behind it or a purpose so uh, it's good to sponsor for them to sponsor chess because first of all um uh, it's uh, about um bringing something really nice in the society and um in children as well who now th- nowadays um they get drawn into things that are not very healthy for them for example video gaming or uh, other things that they do uh, at this age and um it's something healthy for the mind and also uh indirect advertising is i think uh, it's well known that it's is uh is better and it's it has um uh, more chances of uh, uh getting into people's minds if you go indirectly and you sponsor something that is uh really nice and they see it in that context instead of advertising directly and saying come and take this because this is a very nice product uh and i think chess is is a very nice indirect way of uh they it gives them a really nice indirect way of advertising because it's all about health it's all about a healthy mind it's about using your mind and uh in children this kind of activity gives them uh, the opportunity to uh, develop their skills in everything they do and uh, um afterwards in their in their um in their careers in their life is very important yeah. and this is something we try to do also in uh, in the chess federation as well we try to form a um like a a group let's say for uh, going going forward to companies and uh, discussing telling them about what chess can bring to the society and uh, how we can move forward as a society uh, cyprus uh, and uh, it's not just advertisement in um, in uh, in cyprus it's also for abro- abroad as well because we have many children representing the country uh, abroad in several games and um i think it's the potential is there we you just need uh, people who are interested and who have the energy to go for it and uh, it doesn't need much you just need to present what you're trying to do wh- how you're trying to help and uh why this is important for cyprus for the society as well and that's it i mean um uh, i have tried this this year even with all the problems of the pandemic and uh many organizations were very interested to um to become a part of this um of this idea it was behind the campaign uh, healthy body and a, and a healthy mind yeah and uh, i think there's there's a lot of there's a lot of potential there uh, and especially after uh, this uh, pandemic is uh, settled is settled down th- there's uh, a lot of a lot we can do of course it's up to the cyprus chess federation officials to decide that this is the way forward 
and to support this uh, cause because uh, one uh, how do you say it one one um, uh, bird will not bring uh, uh, will not will not make uh, the spring yes for example <laughs> yeah it's what we say in greek uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it has to be um, something that um, uh, everyone will put in the the mind and the the effort to try and um, bring the cyprus Uh, for the, the chess federation to make it uh, move forward do you expect uh with this la- with the recent netflix video netflix series queen's gambit to uh for more sponsors to be interested in chess or uh, have you seen like an increase in uh interest yeah of uh, course of course in cyprus or how does yeah it of course of course uh Anything that promotes chess is good, I think. I've seen many bad critics. No, not bad, but let's say uh, cautious critics about uh, the Netflix series, The Queen's Gambit. But I think Kasparov thinks otherwise. <laughs> and other grandmasters who, who, who try to help the series and to, uh, to um, uh, set up the, the games. And they, mo- some of the games are, some uh, are part of the ch- of chess history, and some of the great games that were played uh, throughout um, uh, the chess history from, let's say, 19th century and the 20th century as well. And um, of course, the, that's this is something. Uh, very good for chess and this this kind of uh, activity is what we need to move forward and we need to start thinking uh, not as chess players uh, who sometimes get um, uh, misplaced they think about a specific bad thing rather than thinking about the general picture and um, Uh, people do not know about chess, they know nothing about chess, and it's better for them to uh, see what it is, uh, see a few things. They don't have to know all the detail, they just need to be aware, we need to bring awareness, and this will help the, the sport to go to move forward. Yeah, I, I've heard many, and you, uh, I know a lot of people who don't really know chess, and they They loved it. They they are now taking much more interest in chess due to the due to the series. Also, I've many players that will have disappeared over the years. They're starting to come back due to the series. They've remembered that they used to play chess. So yeah, I I hope this converts into more sp- uh, more sponsorship to help uh, our s- youth uh, increase to stronger levels since I think the youth uh, right now we have a lot of children uh, in the under 8, under 10, under 12 categories who are we have very, a lot of very competitive they are yeah. competing and it's not as it was before where we had one or two children in each category who were leaps who were really f- much ahead we, are, we have three, four players in each category coming up uh, yeah exactly it's the same so. the same happens in our club as well many many people adults they they came asking for classes or uh, or chess lessons or even somewhere where they can play with their friends uh, and this this uh, activities like this series Uh, they create opportunity and we need to we need to be aware we need to take this opportunity and we need to capitalize like in chess we, when you get an opportunity an advantage then you try and capitalize it's the same same idea uh, we need we need to take this opportunity and we need to make make things happen uh, for for chess for for Cyprus and for uh, all the all the active clubs here and the Cyprus Chess Federation as well. Okay, yeah. 
So this yeah let's uh so yeah this is I think we'll wrap it up uh to for today. We've been live for close to an hour yeah, an hour. So yeah. thank you everyone for watching. Uh thank you Panayodis for joining today for the analysis, for your insight. Thank you, Mark, to, for uh, the uh, for the opportunity. Yeah. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I, th I hope you enjoyed um, the analysis as well. Yeah, I did. Thank you very much. And I hope to take part uh, in uh, another of your uh, of these uh, live events that you make. You're very important for, for chess in Cyprus. Thank you and I'm very keen in working with with you and uh, Arion as well. The club is keen on working with you. Me too. Uh, yeah, I uh, wish you also uh, with the best, all the best in finding sponsors for the federation and your club. Thank so you very much. Uh, any sponsors listening to this, please contact the federation uh, and Panayotis to. Uh, start sponsoring chess and increasing chess in Cyprus. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a nice evening. See you next week. Bye bye.